Assalamu alaikum guys. So today is the night before I fly out to Doha, Qatar. Um, so we fly out tomorrow morning and it will be about a 12 hour flight. So today it's literally, uh, <laughs> it's literally like 1240 at night. I have to get ready to leave tomorrow morning by 7. I just wanted to check in with you guys because I know I haven't been in front of the screen in a while and I just want to say thank you so much for journey for joining me on this journey and for coming with me to travel along this summer. I think that this summer is going to teach me a lot because I just graduated college and it's literally like I'm just going to take a month off and just go travel. Um, I am going on a study abroad to Dubai for the bulk of the trip. That'll be about three weeks but before Dubai we're gonna do a stopover in Doha and if you ever fly Qatar Airways just know that you can add on a stopover in Qatar. I think it's four days max and we chose to choose the max amount of days so I'm really excited um, the hotel is gonna be paid for I'm gonna show you guys the accommodations and everything and we're gonna take Doha really lightly um, they do have activities with the hotel so we'll probably go to like the beach clubs um, maybe do some tours look at some museums but I'm really really excited for Doha and then after Doha, we're going to do Dubai for three weeks. And that's my study abroad. Um, I'm really excited for it because we're going to be doing case studies and visiting the businesses that we're going to do the case studies on. So I know I'm going to learn a lot during that trip. We're going with like a bigger group for that trip. And then finally, I'm going to close out my summer with my own solo trip to Turkey. Um, inshallah, I'll be spending, spending a week in Turkey all alone. I've already been planning out my itinerary really like extensively. So inshallah it'll be a good time and then inshallah hopefully we have a surprise at the end i'm not going to tell you guys because it's a big inshallah kind of moment you know so you know god willing we'll see what we have going on at the end of the trip to turkey inshallah but i am very very excited to go on these travels i'm not going to talk your head off but like i just want to say thank you for joining me and i'm going to bring you along on this journey and we're going to learn a lot we're going to transform, we're going to grow, and alhamdulillah, every day is a blessing. But thank you guys so much for joining me, and masalama. Flying Qatar Airways was absolutely amazing. For one, the seats had a lot of space. We also had a lot of meals. I swear, every time I woke up, I was literally eating. We ate at least like seven times, I'm not even kidding. And this is my first time on like a Arab... Um, airline and they had Quran which I really really loved that really meant a lot to me but the flight was amazing even though it was 12 hours I literally didn't feel it I had such a nice person I was sitting next to God bless her and her family but yeah the flight to Qatar was very nice getting from the airport to the hotel was pretty easy we actually had to do a taxi because they don't allow for ubers in the area but they do allow for ubers in qatar and it was super affordable just make sure that your driver will turn on the meter and yeah the transition was smooth assalamu alaikum guys we're in doha okay so i'm gonna give you guys a room tour but I just want to tell you guys, I just want to talk about Doha for a little bit. For one, the service here is impeccable. First off, the men are literally so masculine. Like, I haven't had to lift a finger so far. The driver helped us to load up our suitcases into his car, which in the United States, like I know it's something small, but in the US, they don't do that. And then the literally the man working at the hotel literally brought our luggage to our rooms. It was extremely nice, extremely beautiful. So. I'm gonna give you guys a room tour. Um, so what we did is we did, um, we flew Qatar Airways. And with Qatar Airways, you can do a stopover for up to four days. So we chose to max out on the four days. So we'll be staying at this hotel for four days. And basically you can book it with no additional cost. So free hotel, free trip to Doha, literally. And the room is so beautiful. I'm gonna give you guys a tour, okay? So this is what the bed is looking like. And Alhamdulillah, I have a view from my room. <laughs> my room is just straight windows, Alhamdulillah. And they're very high windows as well. Let me just back up to give you guys an actual picture of what's going on. Okay, so over here is the kitchen. It's, a, it's like a studio apartment, so it comes with a kitchen. But guys, look at these high quality, high quality appliances, bruh. It's a fridge. Could you even tell? It's a fridge, it looks so nice. So beautiful, like look. 
and then there's the freezer down there mind you this came with literally the booking of the room so this is the kitchen and over here you know that's where we have a table a television a desk as well as the bed the beautiful bed um and then it came with a scale which i think is very very useful for me a mirror full body mirror and then this is the closet i'm going to show you guys more things so this is cabinets which i'm going to throw my bags in there actually because they're super huge and it comes with a washing machine can you believe it it actually comes with a washing machine like that's insane insane guys like you can't find that in many hotels a washing machine like in your room is amazing and then here's the bathroom Hi. the bathroom is very cute and of course we're in the middle east so it comes with a buffet which is really nice um super chill bathroom and then the beautiful beautiful shower which i need to hop in immediately but yeah, this is literally what everything is looking like. And I'm very happy to be staying here. Very excited for this first day in Doha. Um, we're gonna just rest for a little bit because we're super tired. Also, the flight was not that bad, alhamdulillah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, the flight was not that bad, alhamdulillah. It was actually very, very nice. Like, I slept most of the time, so I didn't even, I swear it didn't feel like a 12 hour flight, but um, yeah, so we're gonna rest for a little bit and then we're gonna get ready and then we're gonna leave probably around 12 and we're gonna enjoy the city a little bit today. I just wanted to show you which hotel we actually booked on Qatar Airways because you have options. Um, we did the Adagio, Adagio Apart Hotel. Um, so yeah, just so you guys know if you're looking to book with Qatar Airways. Salam, salam. Hi. So, I've got ready for the day. <laughs> I've gotten my outfit on for today. First off, I'm wearing this huge hat because I don't play with the sun in my face. And then I got this flower from my local beauty supply store back home. <laughs> I feel like it's a good, it's a good outfit for the first day. And I'm gonna bring my little book bag because I'm gonna bring my cameras and everything just so I can take some really good content. Yeah, this is my outfit for our first day in Doha. I'm really excited to go explore. I'm really excited for my professor to come take us to dinner. But yeah, this is the outfit. I just want to do a fit check for you guys. Keep you guys updated with everything. Masalama. We got Baba Jones. Very good. <laughs> So, wait. I used to need a handout. No, I need no help. Nigga said I used to look up to. It's getting shook up too. Anyway, salam alaikum, guys. Hi. So, I'm getting ready because we're going to go have dinner. But earlier was really nice. We went to this restaurant and we had a driver that took us. And he ended up kind of like staying with us, which is okay. He didn't charge us any set amount. We just gave him money. Um, I kind of feel like he wanted more money than what we gave him, but that's okay. Like, I hope that God will reward him for being there for us and that, you know, things will go good for him. Yeah, guys, we're gonna get ready to go. The mall was insane, guys, the mall was insane. There was literally an ice skating rink in the mall. There was a theme park in the mall. There was a river in the mall. The mall was beautiful, very nicely well done. The details were amazing. I loved it, I'm in love with it. 
like I might even put that in my like Nakai contract but he has to take me here many times for a shopping spree because I loved it but yeah guys I'm gonna do my makeup then I'm gonna go I got a small amount of time so I need to hurry up but yeah the day was beautiful thus far hope you guys saw the footage and yeah I'll see you later tonight inshallah Good morning guys, salam alaikum. So yesterday was our first full day in Qatar and it was absolutely amazing. We did the Vilago Mall, we went to the Suk Wakif. Um, we went to a lot of really nice places. Our professor came in, we went out at night, we had some really good shawarma, so I'm so happy. We drove around at night, we saw Qatar at night and the city is so lit up, so beautiful. So I don't know what today is gonna bring. Our professor, I feel like he has plans. I feel like Ustad has plans for us for like what we're gonna do or the places he wants to see because it's actually his first time in Doha as well. So we're gonna see what today brings, but the least that I know is inshallah, we're gonna go to Jummah. And I'm really excited because the masjids, there's so many masjids here and they all look so beautiful. So inshallah, you know, we're gonna see what we get into today. Salam, salam. Hi guys. So. Today is full day two in Doha, and today we're gonna go to the desert. I know my fit is giving more beach than desert, but hey, this is how I felt like coming today. I really like my look. I've been trying like, kind of like Chinese makeup, you know, where you emphasize your eye bags. So I think it's really cute. But anyway, so yeah, today we're gonna go to the desert. Um, after I went to the gym this morning, I pretty much just like rested for a really long time, and I'm so happy that I did. I think my body really needed the rest. Um, we did miss Jemma, so that's really sad. But everyone else in my group, we were all sleeping. So I think we all needed the rest, honestly. But yeah, so today we're going to go to the desert. I'm very excited. I'm going to show you my outfit. It is not the most modest outfit, but I really like it. And I'm okay with it. Yeah, this is my outfit for today. Is it giving desert? I hope I didn't make a mistake. We're going to see, you know. I'm pretty inexperienced when it comes to this, so we'll see how it goes and if it's good or not. But yeah, this is what I look like today. I'll see you guys. Keep you guys updated. Bye.
After sand bashing in the desert, we decided to go to the Qatar Racing Club with some local friends that we met. And this experience was amazing. So cars basically come here and they burn out their engines. They do different tricks in front of the crowd. They burn rubber and it was a phenomenal experience. Wow. <laughs> I've, never doing seen, that? I've never seen anything like this. Oh my God, everyone has cars. Like oh my God. Something important to mention when coming to the Qatar Racing Club is that this is a very modest event. Most people were wearing thobes or full niqabs, so we did stand out a lot during this experience because we were dressed um, previously for the desert. But yeah, everyone here is modest. visiting the Qatar Racing Club, we went to have a Yemeni dinner at a traditional restaurant and it was so good. The name of the restaurant is featured in this video. I don't know how to pronounce it, but we ate with our hands. I tried camel for the first time and everything was so delicious. Guys, I love it here. Assalamu alaikum guys. So we just got in from our day and alhamdulillah, we had such a good day today from seeing the sunset and the sand dunes to driving around in these crazy things on the sand dunes. And then we went to this car show. It was insane, but I did feel really out of place because everyone there was super modest like literally thobes and nakabis which was like wow but we were literally we stood out like a sore thumb it was crazy but and then afterwards we walked around just like pearl like pearl you know i think it's called just like the pearl it's like a beach area and it was really really nice but like alhamdulillah i had such a beautiful day today um our professor is leaving um tomorrow so it's just gonna be me and the girls tomorrow but we have like an itinerary planned which is gonna be really really fun really really exciting and i'm really happy I'm just really happy and I'm ready to bring you guys with me like I have to say that I do love Doha um, the people are so hospitable as well and we met we made friends we went to a proper Yemeni restaurant which has some delicious food like it's just so beautiful here alhamdulillah like I really love it here 1000% I'm very happy actually 10,000% I'm very happy alhamdulillah but yeah oh sorry I think I might have showed my hair but I'm very happy, alhamdulillah. I'm trying not to show my hair, but I was literally getting ready for bed, guys. I'm in my robe and everything. But, um, yeah, today's good. See you guys tomorrow. Masalama. Also, guys, I literally, I literally got this from one of the locals that we met, and it smells like Bahor. It was literally so nice. He gave me this one. He gave my friends some as well, and I'm very, very happy, but I love it. Look at the details. 
look at the details on this it's so beautiful i'm gonna literally cherish this but masalama good night guys good morning guys salam alaikum so today is our last full day in doha and today we're going to see all the sites we're going to look at some museums and then we're also going to visit the pearl later tonight inshallah we're also going to go to this very beautiful turkish masjid that we saw yesterday um but yeah i just wanted to give you guys a little check-in a little fit check today we're going kind of traditional well i can i think i'm still obviously a tourist because like you know i'm black but here is this outfit for today i got my hat i got these sandals my hotel my hotel is very um dirty I have to pack up tonight, but alhamdulillah, you know, this place has a washer and a dryer, which is really, really nice. Um, but yeah, today I did light makeup. Look at my eyes. I really love doing this style makeup. I think it's like the Chinese makeup. I feel like I always talk about this, but like, look at it. It just makes your eyes so bright. I love it. But anyways, yeah, I'll keep up with you guys today. Bye. guys so just checking in for today so we went to two museums and it was really really nice i'm just very tired guys i'm literally so sleepy i'm just sitting on the floor i ordered shawarma to my room this is the food that the hotel gave me I got room service and a, a nice um mocktail for 12 dollars usd mashallah but yeah i'm just sitting here now we're gonna go around tonight but i just wanted to do like a little check-in earlier was wonderful it was beautiful there was this guy outside of the um the museum that wanted to give us a tour for two hours for ten dollars each and if we would have saw him on the first day we would have took it because it seemed like a good deal but um yeah we just went to the museums they were very nice i like the national museum because it looks very beautiful like the architecture is so beautiful um just like from the outside we didn't go around that much because we got really tired so we ended up coming home and the islamic art museum was not as islamic as i thought it would be but it was still very nice alhamdulillah um but yeah we have a nice evening planned i'm gonna do a fit check when we come back wow look at that you guys are all up in my face but um yeah but yeah alhamdulillah uh i'll see you guys later um guys so just checking back in before we go out um yeah, this is the outfit. I'm wearing white with my green dress. Inshallah, I'm gonna buy an abaya to match, but yeah. Fantastic. 
So this day was a very successful day at the souk. I'm going to show you the abaya I got, but we did decide to go pray Isha at the mosque. Um, luckily, this mosque was actually open to women and that we did actually have a space to pray at this masjid. It was very beautiful, very informative. The prayer was the same, of course, and not only that, but this masjid also had a lot of free resources like pamphlets for the Muslim community. Then after spending some really nice time at the masjid, we decided to go out to eat at this restaurant that we found on Instagram or TikTok, I forgot, but it's called Yasmin Palace. And this restaurant was absolutely gorgeous. It was like one of the prettiest places I've ever been before in my life. And the food was actually super delicious. Here is the abaya I brought, by the way. Um, it went perfectly with my outfit and I really liked it because of the added, the added modesty. But yeah, we went to Yasmin Palace and it was amazing. Assalamualaikum guys, so it's literally 4 a.m. We just got back to the hotel. We have to leave here at 5.30 to catch our flight, but alhamdulillah, Doha was amazing. Today was amazing. I love Doha. We want to move here. I literally love it here. I want to move here. It's so nice. It's so beautiful. If you ever have the chance to do a stopover in Qatar or if you ever just want to go travel somewhere that is safe for women, beautiful, beautifully done, like beautiful architecture, literally anything that you want as far as like clothes, souvenirs, if you want that Middle Eastern feel but still like a modern beautiful country kind of like kind of like what dubai has you know but more like homey and like humble qatar is the place that you need to go doha is the place that you need to go the pearl island is beautiful alhamdulillah like this is just a beautiful trip but guys I actually have like an hour to pack so that's the end of this vlog thank you so much for joining me um tomorrow we are going to dubai so inshallah i'll see you in that vlog bye